Ah, hello everyone. This is me, John Dole, right here in Tokyo, Japan, here in my little humble abode. Now, Comrade Unru has requested that I give some comments on this recent issue of Bitcoin in Japan being regulated and taxed <laughs> as a commodity, exactly as was predicted. This is what's happening. But it's interesting how Japan has come to make this move. Now Bitcoin has been growing in size and popularity as a so-called alternative currency. But it's not going to work. You know, it's an ineffective way to challenge the capitalist control over currency. Now here's what's happened. McGrox believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, G-O-X, I believe, yeah? Now, they were a Tokyo-based Bitcoin exchange. Very large, very influential among this Bitcoin so-called currency. Well, they went under. Closed operations, took everybody's money, and said, see ya, suckers, basically. But it's interesting what was going on here in Japan with that, right? Now, McGrox, their account was being uh, operated and facilitated by this very large bank here in Japan called Mizuho Bank. Very large bank. What has come out is that there was money laundering going on, which is, which is suspected to be connected to the Japanese underworld, or known as the Yakuza here in Japan. Now, the Yakuza are very, very, very detrimental to society in general here in Japan and are always a constant trouble. But a lot of the uh, capitalists in Japan, political class, are known to have connections to them, but they like to keep it unofficial. So when you're caught, having connections to them, big, big no-no. It doesn't work out for you. You are in big trouble in Japan. So what was happening here was that Mizuho Bank was allowing uh, Bitcoin, or McGrux to be more precise, to engage in these illegal, what they call illegal transactions with the Yakuza. It's illegal to have <clears throat> any type of financial connection to them. And Bitcoin was clearly, McGrux, excuse me, was clearly having these type of connections to them, right? So they get busted doing this. Now, Mizuho Bank... It's not the first time they've had this issue. Uh, a while back, which is still a problem, they were caught uh, having clear accounts that were connected to Yakuza-known companies. So when this comes out, Japan's going to react to this. This is a threat. Bitcoin's a clear threat to the capitalist banking system. They're not going to let this go down anymore. So what do they do? They announced that, yes, we are going to tax this. We're going to regulate it. And we're not going to treat it as a currency. It's going to be treated as a commodity. So we can profit from it. Clear, known, expected tactic that they're going to do. They're going to commodify it. Instead of allowing it to grow as an actual alternative currency. So you see here, Comrade Unruh, called it on point. As soon as Bitcoin becomes an actual threat to the system, the capitalists will commodify it. They're not going to let it grow. And now it's connected to the underworld in Yakuza is dead as an alternative currency here in Japan. So again, I thank uh, Un Comrade Unruh for allowing me to present these comments and his perspective on Japan. And until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Checking out, comrades.